finally, we've devoted much of this newscast to how one deadly disease affects millions of human lives every single year. But the truth is, we share this planet, so tonight we wanted to end with a story about how humans are attempting to save another spectacular species from extinction. From South Africa, here's Lara Logan. Meet Tiger Woods. Not the golfer, obviously, but a pretty impressive cat in his own right. He's huge. He's huge. And he's only two. This Tiger Woods and his famously named pals, Madonna and Cathay, are all South China tigers, the most endangered species of big cat in the world today. Li Quan is breaking all the rules of conservation to try to save their dying breed. If we don't do anything drastic, they may go extinct forever. <laughs> Li's drastic plan is to take these zoo-raised animals from Asia and put them in an environment in Africa where they can learn to be wild again. When Li saw the poor conditions in which these tigers were living in China five years ago, she devoted herself full-time to the cause and launched an ambitious dream to save this Asian tiger in South Africa, where no tigers exist in the wild. Moving wild animals is always a risky business, especially when you bring them halfway across the world. But this project has attracted particularly strong criticism from some cat experts who say there are too few South China tigers left and too many risks to be gambling with the future of an entire species. Okay, when I blow the whistle, open the gate, please, let them through. The tiger's chief handler, Peter Openshaw, had his doubts at first, but now believes the open spaces and wildlife expertise in South Africa can save these Asian tigers. <laughs> Openshaw initially had to hunt for them. After spending their lives in a zoo, these tigers had never even eaten wild meat and thought the dead animal was a toy. Now, when Openshaw drops a carcass in a field, and blows his whistle, within seconds, the tigers rush across the grasslands, ready to pounce. After three years, Tiger Woods and the others are successfully able to hunt for themselves. The end goal of the project is actually to reintroduce the Chinese tigers back to where they come from. Uh, that means the Chinese wild. Getting to the Chinese wild via South Africa may be a roundabout way, but to Lee Kwan, it's better than no way at all. Laura Logan, CBS News, Lahu Valley Reserve, South Africa.